creativity is all about coming up with new ways of doing things. And we all do that in our daily lives in many ways, but we just don't often give ourselves credit for it. Everybody, bar none, in every department, in every walk of life, has the ability to be creative if we're just given the right environment and the support in which to do so. There are lots of simple, powerful and very effective ways that we can make our work environment much more creative and better equipped to face the future. The post-pandemic world is a once in a generation and quite possibly once in a lifetime opportunity for us to innovate, reset and review how we do things. Because just as the end of the two world wars gave rise to a renaissance of activities and perspectives and culture, so our exit from the pandemic is our cue to take that opportunity to our advantage, ignite and innovate our way to grow and prosper. Well, it's been proven many times that happy places are also most often creative places too. And the Harry Potter film sets were the only ones that I ever went onto that could legitimately call themselves a family. And that was because so many of the people that were on camera were children. And so they created this wonderful, warm, positive, friendly family atmosphere that regardless of your age, you could perform on camera. And look at the levels of creativity that that led to. The Harry Potter films were the gold standard for magical creativity for many years. And the best bit about all this is that if we can make our workplaces happy too, we stand the best chance of making them wonderfully creative as well. The great thing is we all like to ideate in different ways. Some people like adrenaline, others calm. Some people in ideating groups, others prefer to be on their own. But there are lots of simple, easy things we can do to help ourselves create. One of those is changing our environments. Filmmakers often say that being on set gives them huge levels of inspiration. And we can do that by getting out of the office to different places to be able to come up with new ideas. Getting exercise also helps. Another really important thing is just giving ourselves enough time to be able to think and reflect and generate those ideas. I often found that when I was on film sets, I often came up with some of our best ideas there as well. Movies represent some of mankind's best levels of creativity. And big filmmakers can really teach us an awful lot. Firstly, and most importantly, that self-belief and courage and conviction in our ideas is so important. Filmmakers like Christopher Nolan to be able to fulfil their vision, sometimes knew that they needed to be able to act, do big scenes for real. In his most recent film, Tenet, for Nolan, that meant crashing a real 747 into a real hangar. For Todd Phillips on The Hangover, he took an almost nominal fee as a director to be able to get a bu the budget increase he needed to fulfil his creative vision for that film. The Hangover went on to become the biggest R-rated comedy of all time. So sometimes that self-belief and commitment is hugely important in developing great ideas. The same people ideating around a table can often produce the same ideas that they've had before. But diversity and inclusion in creativity is about much more than race and ethnicity. It's about having people from lots of different backgrounds and perspectives and cultures around the table to shake up your thinking. Including people from lots of different departments that you don't normally ideate with, bringing, bringing your audience or your consumers in to develop ideas with you. We often call them naive experts for creative collisions to shake up your thinking. At Warner Brothers, we often ensure that 30% of the teams in the room were made up of interns. And that was because the average age of most people going into cinemas were between 18 and 35. And so we needed to make sure that we freshened up our thinking with plenty of people that represented our audience. It's a really fundamental and important way to ensure that we get creative.
Well, the good news is that creativity is one of the biggest, strongest things that we have over machine learning and algorithms. If we want to ensure that our jobs are boosted and not consumed by artificial intelligence, the onus is, is, is on us to use that skill as best we possibly can. Certainly in the marketing world, data and creativity are two of the most important words that are going around at the moment. But the important point is this, if you can combine the two, you then can get into the holy grail. The consumer insight and data will be able to tell us all sorts of important things about our customers, how to access them, the way to talk to them, when, how, what channels. But by combining it with true creativity, we can ensure that the freshness of the message is there. And we can really cut through with communication that really, really opens people's eyes and engages them. By combining creativity and data, that is the true secret to success. I founded a production company, Content Creator Studios, so I'm lucky enough to be able to continue working on some of the best known movies. And that helps me keep, keep my thinking fresh and relevant and current. I'm passionate about creativity, but in particular, I adore seeing people who don't think that they are particularly creative come up with new ideas. It gives a real excitement and extra pace to the environment that they're in. Conversely, there are also lots of organizations who particularly during the pandemic were not being able to innovate quickly enough. And sadly, they went out of business and that includes some big names like Hertz and Topshop, for example. But ideating is fundamentally enjoyable. It's an uplifting experience. And the great thing is, you don't have to be serious to solve serious issues. It's a fun process, being innovative. Let's do more of it.